Very weird that an African country understands economics so much better than so many Western countries. I've been saying this for many years now. Economically, it doesn't make sense to invest and support internal combustion if you're having to import billions of dollars, billions of liters of gasoline and diesel. As a result, an African country has banned internal combustion cars because they are simply wasting so much money buying fuel from outside their own country. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You probably already heard that Ethiopia is banning the sales of combustion cars from 2035 onwards. It's actually the only country in the world with a hard ban. This isn't like you know, Europe, where they're trying to allow synthetic fuels and have other little loopholes for supercars and small produced vehicles. And anyway, this is a true hard ban. Ethiopia actually spent $6 billion to import fossil fuels in 2023. You know, more than half of that um, went to fuel powered vehicles. In response, Ethiopia's transport and logistics ministries have announced that automobiles cannot enter Ethiopia unless they are electric. I can't understand why this isn't so logical for so many countries. What, why would you want to be spending all this money in another country? You know, having the balance of trade for your country be so badly weighted uh, against you when you don't have to. I mean, think about it. You power EVs primarily through what? I mean, in Ethiopia, in other African countries, you power them through the sun. There's so much sun in Africa. Now, yes, there's a lot of countries in Africa that don't have tons of solar, but they are increasing their solar and wind output enormously. And of course, in many locations, they also have a lot of power from hydro, which they kind of use as enormous batteries. Now in Ethiopia, they have a lot of renewable energy as well, so they can produce their own power. Ethiopia joins several US states, Canada, Japan, Singapore, India, New Zealand, and other nations with similar bans already in place. However, here's the thing. Ethiopia actually is trying to ban internal combustion vehicles now, as in uh, this year. Seriously. According to a news update on the, from the parliament, Alemu Sim, the Ethiopian Minister for Transport and Logistics, announced the completion of the nation's logistics master plan on Monday. Details were scarce. He said a decision has been made that automobiles cannot enter Ethiopia unless they are electric ones. So Ethiopia is saying, yeah, you know, why wait? Let's just do this as quickly as we can. There's already good electric cars we can get. Why on earth would we keep on doing something as stupid as spending $6 billion on, on fossil fuels? Minister Sim went on to highlight the implementation of new practices in strategic affairs and address the committee on the ministry's initiatives related to green transport initiatives throughout Ethiopia. He explained efforts to establish charging stations for electric cars remain a huge priority in the country. And he offered that the nation's inability to assess favorable foreign exchange resources has contributed to its inability to afford to continue using gasoline and diesel. So what's going on here? There is a huge foreign exchange shortage. This affects Ethiopia's ability to import oil and other commodities, and they pay high rates as a result. Now, apparently lack of foreign currency has led to a significant push towards enhancing agricultural productivity in Ethiopia and boosting local production of light manufactured goods. Now, of course, 100% um, electric is going to be challenging, but Ethiopia has invested billions of dollars into its energy infrastructure over the last 20 years. And that means that 97% of its energy comes purely from renewables. A huge amount comes from a hydroelectric plant, which is actually going to be the largest in Africa when it is fully completed. Now, of course, there's not enough uh, fast charging stations in Ethiopia for really for the country to ban gasoline powered vehicles, to ban the sale of new ones this year. And I don't think the country are going to go through with banning them this year. You've got to give dealerships enough time to sell all their stock and, you know, and do what's re reasonable and fair. These dealerships would be stuck with all these cars otherwise. I do believe that Ethiopia will ban internal combustion within the next couple of years. It's, it's just going to happen very, very quickly because it makes complete sense for the country. Now, I think we often think of Africa and we think, oh, you know, 
in general, would you want to live in, in African countries? Probably not. Um, you know, there's a lot going on there that's in most places there that really isn't ideal. Uh, you know, economic conditions, unfortunately, are, are pretty shocking for many hundreds of millions of people. But sometimes you find a government that's really thinking and planning ahead. The fact that the government in Ethiopia planned ahead 20 years ago to hit 100% renewables by 2025, and they've actually carried it out and pulled it off is truly staggering. And the fact that they've realized that economically speaking, it doesn't make sense to continue purchasing that overseas and bringing it into Ethiopia is, in my opinion, so obviously logical that I just cannot understand why there aren't countries, many, many countries around the world instituting similar rules or similar plans. So what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.